YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be about uh, the Acne.org treatment regimen, basically the products um, and the regimen that Dan Kern uh, puts forth for everybody on his website. Um, this this is the second time I'm shooting this video, but um, the last one was just too rambly, so hopefully this one won't be as bad and it won't come up to almost... 25 minutes so let me get right into it um i'm not using this regimen so much anymore um there's still parts of it that i use but for the most part i'm not um so i don't have all the pieces i just have um a couple of my empty bottles that i had from when i got my last shipment and um but i did use it for over a year so i feel like i can talk to you guys about it um the main reason i'm making this video is that when i was considering Going on to the regimen, um, either the drugstore version or Dan's version, um, I was concerned that so many people on his message board, other people on YouTube reviews that I saw had said that um, benzoyl peroxide will bleach your skin. Um, and not to get on your clothes and, you know, that it might bleach your hairline and your eyebrows and things like that. So for someone as uh, darkly complected as I am, that was something that I was very much worried about. Um, I've never had a problem with the color of my skin. I just always wanted to have smooth skin. You know, the smooth skin I had before puberty hit me like a ton of bricks. So um, I'll, I'll just give you a little backstory. story. Uh, my best friend that I talk about all the time on this channel, um, one day we met for lunch. And I noticed that her skin was looking really terrific. And I'm saying, well, what is she doing? She didn't mention anything. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, she's Hispanic. I'm Afri obviously African American. But we have the same skin issues. Oily skin, combination skin, cystic acne, blackheads, and whiteheads. Um, so when I saw her skin looking so clear, I'm like, what, what are you using? What's going on? And she asked me if I know who Goss Makeup Artist is. And at that time, I knew who he was. Um, basically through Pixie Woo and I think through Lindy aka Bubs Beauty I would heard them mention him before but I had never really watched his videos so my friend tells me yeah you know he has this video talking about how he cured his acne and um, that I need to watch it and that in the video he mentions this guy named Dan Kern who I think is in San Francisco and that he has made up this regimen that's similar to the regimen that Goss used to clear his skin so I got home I immediately looked it up and um I saw that basically was a benzoyl peroxide treatment. Um, I believe, because I was on proactive for almost two years, that proactive is benzoyl peroxide as well. But I believe it's 1.5% benzoyl peroxide. So it's not nearly as strong as um, Dan Kern's uh, benzoyl peroxide or the benzoyl peroxide that's used in the U.S. Um, La Roche-Posay Epicard Duo, which I'll have a video coming up for uh, very soon. But um, let me just adjust this. Yeah. So, um, I've used benzoyl peroxide before. I used the uh, Neutrogena on-the-spot treatment. And, you know, I mean, it dries out your skin so bad. I just, I kept, I would start and I wouldn't continue it. But what I liked about what Dan Kern was saying uh, on his website is he gives you a full list of drugstore products that you can use. And then you can use his system as well. So... When I looked at his website and I looked at the products, it kind of seemed like proactive to me where, you know, you guys sign up for auto ship and all that stuff. And I was like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go through that again. I went through it with proactive for years and it took forever to get people to stop sending me stuff and stop charging me. So I was like, I'm not going to give out my credit card again like this and sign up to have this guy keep sending me things. But um, what I did do is I, um, I decided to purchase his benzoyl peroxide treatment, which is 2.5, yeah, 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. This is not the this is not the original um, tube that I got. Um, I initially bought the 32 ounce um, pump bottle um, because I said, well, I'm just gonna buy that from him. I can buy my own cleanser. I can buy my own moisturizer, my own sunblock. I'm not gonna buy his whole regimen. So this is this was in a next kit that I ordered later on. But uh, I got that benzoyl peroxide. I went back out. I got. Uh, set of full cleanser which I had used before and a set of full moisturizer and I started on September 19th 2011 uh, was when I started my treatment that Monday it was a Monday it was I started on Monday night and um, Monday night I followed his direction I used um, half a pump uh, which would come up to about the first knuckle of my finger about this much I used that the next morning 
the same thing and I kept following by Wednesday of that same week my face was so tight I felt like I could not open my mouth I couldn't really laugh uh, a friend had said a joke to me at work and I started to laugh and I felt like my face was gonna just rip like that's how tight my face was um, friends of mine who don't have acne who have never been on treatment like this they said to me like well what does it feel like like you're acting like it's so painful like somebody threw acid on your face or something and the only way I can describe it which I know it's not gonna make any sense it's gonna sound ridiculous but I felt like my every pore on my face was being forced open and that like someone was taking like a vacuum and like sucking all the dirt out of my face at one time it was like the most odd experience I've ever felt I mean it was just totally weird um, like I said, I, I felt completely dry. I was looking in the mirror at work all the time. Because I'm saying, well, I must look dry, ashy, cracked up. I didn't, but it just felt that way. Um, by the, let me see, by the Sunday morning of that same week, the pain stopped. And I, I tell you, I haven't been more happy for something. The, it, the pain was tremendous, and it just stopped. My skin apparently just got used to it, and it was done. Uh, from then on, I got up to about one and a half pumps because you're supposed to go up a half a pump every week. I got up to one and a half pumps, and I felt like my skin started to plateau. Um, and my skin was clear by the second week I was using it, but I, I still felt like, well, you know, it could be a little bit better. You know, I'm waiting to see about the reduction in um, discoloration because I've told you guys I have a lot of discoloration from the cystic acne I used to have on both my cheeks, on my chin. Um, so I decided, let me look back at his website, see what other products he has, and let me get that. Um, also the Cetaphil, I don't know what it is, maybe Cetaphil doesn't react well with benzoyl peroxide, but I think it increased my, um, sensitivity, sorry, it increased my sensitivity to this pain. I mean, the lotion when I would put on the lotion, the moisturizer afterwards, it would feel like I was burning my skin. I, cu I couldn't, I couldn't bear it. So I ordered um, a kit he has. I'm gonna put the link to the exact kit that I got. Honestly, I don't know if he's raising prices on it or for the same price. I haven't ordered in quite a while, but it, I know it was about six. It was about sixteen, sixty-nine something, and with tax, it came to like eighty-one. So I mean, it was it was a lot, but it had. Um, a lot of stuff in it. It had the treatment like this, it had the AHA um, glycolic acid, it had the jojoba oil, it had a cleanser, it had a moisturizer. Is that it? Yeah, so it was like a five piece kit. I can tell you guys honestly, I'm not being paid to say this, you know, I don't know Dan Kern, but when I got that full kit, it really like took my skin to another level. Don't chop on here, you know this cat is acting up. Um, it took my skin to another level. The addition of the jojoba oil into the regimen totally like stopped all the ouch ow this cat just scratched me took away like all the pain and it just it just made everything so much better. Um, if you hear a buzzing, that is my phone vibrating. Um, yeah, it it just really changed things. Uh, I think I was about ten weeks in when I first used the uh, what you call it the LHA the glycolic acid that treatment and. I was so scared to use it because I thought, oh my god, this thing is acid, it's going to burn me. And it really didn't, but I noticed an immediate difference. I would put it on only at night because you really shouldn't wear it out um, where it can be exposed to sunlight. I would put it on, and the next morning when I went to wash my face, I, I would feel like, you know, some skin was coming. Like it was exfoliating my face without me having to scrub or do anything. And my skin looked brighter. Um, it, it really worked on my discoloration that was on my cheeks. Uh, people stop, you know, my co-workers, friends stop me saying, you know, what do you got on your face? Uh, you know, it looks really good. Because if you watch my videos before, you know that I don't usually wear foundation every day. So, um, I, I saw an immediate difference. Um, I'm not going to go too much further into detail about, you know, the kid and how I use it. Because Dan, the, the website that Dan has is, is terrific. It tells you everything. Plus you have the, the forum with other members that you can ask for advice, you can find out different information, so I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to go into like what I stated at the beginning of the video, the main reason why I created the video, which was, is this going to bleach my skin? What is this going to do to my skin considering the fact that I am, you know, a, a dark complexion? So I can honestly say to you guys, I've looked at pictures um, 
from before I started, I've asked friends, you know, I have friends who are very honest with me, and to be honest, if they had saw that my skin was starting to look like bleachy, terrible way that people who bleach their skin look, I would have been called out on it. No one ever said anything. I can honestly say that I don't feel it bleached my skin. I think it made my discolorations a little bit lighter, but it did not bleach my skin. I, I'm not a completely different shade than I was two years ago before I started, three years ago before I started. Um, the one thing I will say though is it is true about the hairline. Um, I have a lot more hair um, in the front than you would think, but it's been bleached. Um, it, the color is starting to come back to it now um, because I haven't been using the system in a while. But when I was using it, my hair just said, well, you have all this hair, I can feel all this hair, but, it, you know, it's bleached. It's bleached out. So, um, that thankfully, she was coloring my hair at that time, so stop it. So, it, 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 it helped out. Also, my eyebrows are much lighter. I don't know if you guys can see that. They are much lighter than what they used to be when I was younger, um, before I started using I used to have jet black eyebrows, and now they're like, you know, they look they look sparser than what they are because of the benzoyl peroxide. But again, those are starting to come back. Um, my skin cleared up with this regimen, so I highly recommend if you have severe acne, you have the cystic pimples, you have massive amounts of blackheads and whiteheads, I highly just suggest you try this system. Um, does it hurt? Yes. It hurts. I mean, that first week, week and a half, it's very painful until your skin get used to that concentration of benzoyl peroxide. Um, but it was worth it to me. Now, I could go to work. Like I said, I felt I looked dry, but nobody else noticed anything. Now, if you're pale, then you probably would be red, uh, maybe look a lot flakier than I did. Or if you're Asian, or a light complected Hispanic, you you will probably show redness for me. I don't show redness that much, so I mean you have you just have to take that into you know consideration and just get past that hump. You know, get past those first couple of days when it's really rough on your skin. Um, other than that, what can I say? I want to make sure I say things before this gets out of control. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, it will bleach your clothes. Um, I dropped another pair of my blue pajamas one time, and it made a bleach spot as if I dropped bleach on it. Um, I I'll tell you the, you guys the honest truth. Well, I'm not using it anymore. Um, it got to I got up to the point where I was using two and a half pumps. Uh, I believe on the website Dan recommends he wants people to get up to three three pumps. It's either three or four pumps. And when I got up to two and a half, I felt like my skin could not soak in anymore of the benzoyl peroxide and, you know, soak it up in enough time that I could actually go out in the street with it and not have wet patches on my face. So, um, this cat. So, I, I, I kind of backed off from it. Also, the benzoyl peroxide, the, the fumes from it was starting to affect my eyes. Um, I got such dry patches around here. My eyelids dried out. Now, obviously, I'm not putting it on my eyes. I would make a very wide circle around my eyes with it, but I'm putting on so much, and it's sitting there. It has to soak into my skin that I would sit there. My eyes would start watering. They, you know, I had to get eye drops. I had to go to my dermatologist to get like a um, ointment for my eyelids because it was so dry. I couldn't wear any makeup um, for a long time. Uh, so I, I decided to stop using it. And, um, when I stopped using it, my skin did revert back. I mean, it is a long-term solution. It's something you have to continually do. Um, so my skin did go back. It's not as bad as it was before I ever started, but it did go back. Um, right now, as I mentioned in another video, I'm using some La Roche-Posay, um, products. Uh, and I will be doing a review on the Effaclar Duo, which is a 5.5% benzoyl peroxide. So it's double the amount that's in... Uh, this uh, dance uh, benzoyl peroxide and it has an LHA acid in it but I'm going to do a review on that but one of the main issues that I had with the benzoyl peroxide is that it would make right here so so dark that it got to the point where when I put it on I would do my forehead uh, my temples m my cheeks and then just right here I couldn't touch right here I couldn't touch around my mouth because it would like crack to the like it would bleed so you know I think that's something you have to accustom yourself to um you, you have to figure out what works for you. I could not keep putting it around my mouth. It, 
it was destroying this texture of my skin. It was it was making more problems than it was create, you know solving. So it's something you have to get used to. I would say if you use the proactive benzoyl peroxide and you were fine with that, you know that's 1.5 percent I believe. Then you know I would try this. Like I said, if you have acne, you have the cystic acne, you have the serious acne. Um, or you have someone who's close to you that has it, then I would definitely visit Dan's site. I'm going to put all the links down below. And I'm also going to try and insert pictures um, into this video. I'm still learning how to do that, so if it's not there, um, I do have a blog um, site. Um, and this is going to be my first actual blog post, is talking about that. So I'll get more in-depth about how I felt, the side effects, and, you know, just telling you guys more about it. But, um... Yeah, I think it's a really, it's a great treatment. Um, some people I've, I've seen on the mesh don't have the same issue. They didn't have the dryness of the eyes. They didn't have, um, you know, the cracking around the mouth. Maybe those parts of my body are just really sensitive. But if you can get it and it, you can get it to work for you, it is great. And I also want to say, if you go onto Dan's website and you decide, I'm just going to do the pharmacy Option. I'm just going to get everything from the pharmacy, nutrition on the spot, set fill, whatever. I would definitely recommend getting some uh, jojoba oil. If you have to get it from your Whole food store, you have to get it from uh, online, whatever, get it. Some, you know, He has an organic jojoba oil. If you can get that, great. If you can't, just get you know natural jojoba, whatever you can get. It really helped out. And jojoba oil has the same um, texture. I, I know I'm going to say this wrong, but it, it will not clog your pores. So, you know, and it, it, it saved me. It, like, it decreased my pain more than by half. So, that's something I would definitely recommend. Um, like, so I'll put all the prices and info down below. But basically, I just want to say, if you're searching on YouTube and you want to know about the acne.org regimen or benzoyl peroxide uh, regimen for acne, um, this is not going to beat your skin. I don't know about the nitrogen on the spot because I did not use it full coverage around my face. I don't know. But I know for Dan Kern's benzoyl peroxide, it did not bleach my skin. Um, it, I'm the same complexion you guys will see in the pictures that I'm going to put up on my blog or in this video. It did not bleach my skin. So hopefully that has helped. Um, well, I'll probably have to do a second up second video for this because I know I didn't answer everything but if you guys have any questions comments please put it down below and I will make that second video answering all that or uh, you can respond to the blog once that's up whatever it is but um, I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching and again I hope this was helpful so I'm going to try and upload this now and I will talk to you all soon thank you